everyone, my name is Juno. I have a health science background and I'm the author of the book Truth and Empathy, How to Find Your Soulmate. And I'll put a link to the book below. This video is the MBTI percent up assessment of Gary Vaynerchuk. And again, I put some notes here so I don't miss anything. When it comes to the 16 personality types, they can be grouped into four main ones. The first one are sensor judgers, the second sensor perceivers, the third intuitive thinkers, and the last one intuitive feelers. To me, Gary V is a sensor perceiver, and I will explain why. Again, I'm going to look at those notes. So Gary V, as he's known by millions of his followers, was born on November the 14th, 1975 in Belarus, Russia. He is right now 45 years old. He's an American entrepreneur, author, speaker, and internet personality. So uh, his parents uh, immigrated to the States uh, when he was rather young. They had a wine business. He joined, started working there when he was only 14 years old and helped expand the family business. So he has a lot of knowledge about wine. So he was a wine critic. He, uh, he's mostly known uh, for his work in digital marketing and social media. He also has really good uh, YouTube videos. He is the chairman of the New York-based communications company VaynerX and CEO of uh, VaynerX subsidiary Vayner Media. So it's based on his name, <laughs> In 1998, he graduated with a bachelor's degree from Mount Ida College in communications and um, a minor in marketing. Um, he married when at age 29 in 2004 and has two children. When it comes to sensor perceivers, they're usually interested in two main fields, either entertainment or marketing and business. And in the case of Gary V, he chose the business route. And this is something you see uh, very much in them is that they will start having these tendencies at an early age. They don't uh, usually are good students, not because they lack intelligence, it's just that they tend to have a short attention span and they like their practical. So a lot of theory will usually bore them. And I remember watching um, an interview uh, of uh, Gary Vee when he was saying that he was not a good student at all. He just uh, did the minimum just to pass uh, so that he could graduate from high school. I mean, he did, uh, you know, f complete a bachelor's degree, but you'll see that many actually don't even go there. They don't like to pursue higher studies because they are better at uh, the people to apply right away what they have learned. So they tend to know how to communicate with the, the public. They like uh, the hustle. So Gary Vee comes across as a masculine energy. So he's someone who tends to be impatient. He likes logic. He likes things that can be applied right away. When you communicate with him, you need to make sense. So you need to give him just enough information so that we know what to do next. So he's the type of person who's always checking to know the logic of anything. So I would say that when it comes to Gary V, um, his he has a introverted thinking function in their first or second function stack. And also, even the way he um, presents himself. So uh, when it comes to sense of perceivers, they tend to be low-key. So you rarely see Gary V or that type uh, with like a three-piece suit and, and, and very much concerned about fashion. Um, they tend to like practicality. So he's usually with a t-shirt and, uh, and jeans. Although, you know, they can have a lot of money, but they won't spend it on, on fashion. When Gary V is probably someone who doesn't like uh, lazy people. So he's all about the hustle. He's all about doing. So he's someone when it comes to his function, probably uh, he has extroverted sensing as his first function because he's all about action in the moment. So he's the type of person, whenever there's a crisis, he probably is very, very good at resolving. So he actually said in one of his videos that he is a firefighter and he gets energized by that. So uh, I remember even him saying that he didn't want to learn to meditate because it would uh, maybe mellow him down and he wants to have that edge. So these are people who uh, don't want to just be idle. And they 
probably are impatient with lazy people. So these are the type of individuals that if you keep on, you know, uh, just complaining and not doing anything, they will stop listening to you because they want results right here, right now. Uh, the other aspect when it comes to Gary V is that even the language that he uses, it is, you know, uh, practical, logical, but also he tends to <laughs> swear quite a bit. So you'll see that with uh, the masculine sense of perceivers. So they are the type of people who are not as concerned to uh, appear proper uh, because they're all about getting the job done. Uh, the other point with Gary V is that he is the type to uh, like uh, change. He likes things that are moving. So uh, the, the fact that he probably will work long hours, um, he's the type of person who likes to, let's say, even travel to do different speeches in different countries or different cities. He likes the, the sort of the hustle and, and the, uh, the, the speed of it. So these are people who have short attention span, so they don't like things that are uh, predictable. They are not afraid of risk. Uh, so I would say that uh, Gary V very much comes across as a mask energy. Now, Gary V comes across as an extrovert, so he gets energized by being around people. So you'll see that he will do speeches and, and mingle with the crowd, uh, interact with people on a regular basis. So he's not the type of person who needs to go to a silent room to, to feel better and be energized before spending time with others. So this is very much in line with someone who is an ESTP. So based on all this information, I would type Gary V as an ESTP because he is a mask energy. He is someone who is probably a sense of perceivers. He's someone who's very much interested in business, marketing. He's really good at it. He knows how to uh, talk to the public. He's, uh, he's, his way of communicating is direct, logical, practical. Um, he is the typical firefighter in terms of uh, he likes being in a situation where he has to think on his feet. So this is very much what an ESTP would enjoy doing. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this person type assessment by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we will talk soon.